Hey there! Hello and welcome to the technical section of Biopandit. This is Saurav, your very own Mahapandit with you today. I am going to show you how to calculate the solvent accessible surface area of a globular protein using a rolling ball algorithm. This analysis has two parts. First, we have to download the 3D structure of a protein from public databases. We are going to use X-ray crystallographic structure of I27 domain of a human muscle protein titin from Protein Data Bank. The second part is to perform the analysis. We are going to show you the use of three standalone programs and one web-based tool. The three standalone programs include two software Pymol and Discovery Studio Visualizer for beginners and one command line tool for those who want to perform this analysis for research purposes. First, let us understand the basic concept. Let us start with a protein with available 3D structure. All of you are used to seeing such beautiful images of proteins, but to be honest, this is how a protein actually looks, just atoms. What we have to do is we have to calculate the total surface area of this protein that is accessible to water. The standard method here is to approximate a water molecule as a sphere of 1.4 angstrom radius. You have the protein, you put the sphere on the surface of the protein, then you simply roll the sphere throughout the surface of the protein. As the sphere rolls over the protein atoms, it creates the impression of a surface that you can see here. Since you are rolling a sphere or a ball, this algorithm is known as the rolling ball algorithm. So let us do something by hand. First, we are going to go to protein data bank, often called just PDB. Every protein entry in PDB has a unique four letter identifier. The identifier of our protein is one TIT, so you just put your identifier and hit enter. Alternatively, you can search for your protein using specific keywords and search for your target protein among the search results. Now, this is the entry page. You get to download the PDV format file from this link. Now we need our web server and computer programs. The get area web server is available in this link. You simply upload your PDB file, set the radius of your water probe, enter your email address, select output format and hit the submit button. The result tells you the total solvent accessible surface area, surface areas of the polar and non-polar atoms, number of solvent exposed and buried atoms. Enough of online servers. Let us use some standalone tools now. We start with Discovery Studio Visualizer. This is the website you have to register as a user and then you can download the software for academic purposes for free. After you install, this is the graphical user interface. The use is pretty simple. You open your PDB file, go to structure, surface, add, select solvent, set surface rendering to solid, set probe radius to 1.4 and hit the OK button. The result is here. See, it creates a beautiful graphics but tells you only the total surface area and the volume. Pymol is a well-known and widely used software. This is the website. There is a big download button but downloading Pymol is a bit complicated. You have to come to this link and click the student public teacher option. Then you have to register. After that, you will receive an email with a user ID and a password for download. After you install, this is the graphical user interface. You can either open your PDB file using this file open option 
or you can be a little smart and use the command line. The command is fetch one TIT. If your internet serve, if your computer is connected to the internet, you can just download any PDB ID using this command directly into PyMol. PyMol has its own command line programming that you must learn in order to use it. Here is how you will calculate the accessible surface area of a protein using PyMol command line. First, for accuracy, set dot solvent on. Then set the dot density to 4. Set probe radius to 1.4. Then your command is get area 1 TIT. There you go, you have the surface area. Now for more fun, say you need the surface area of only the first 10 amino acids. So just, so first select your first 10 amino acids. Now your command is get area cell A. See, it's easy. Finally, the command line program known as the surface eraser. The software includes a nice readme file that is practically all you need. You take your PDB file to the respective folder. You open command prompt. And this is the command. The first option is the choice of van der Waals radii of atoms. The second option is the PDB file. The third option is the probe radius and the fourth option is the choice of total surface area. There are three output files. First open the result file. It includes a wide variety of output data and you should definitely explore all these data yourself. There is another file, one TIT residue. It includes solvent accessible surface area of individual residues. The third file, one TIT.txt includes accessible surface areas of individual atoms. Any surface area value zero means the residue or that atom is not exposed to the solvent. So this is all for now guys. To learn a lot of such techniques, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the red gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our videos, please hit the like button and help others by sharing them. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys. See you soon.